Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for the free monthly tarot scopes. For the tarot portion of the reading we'll be using the rock and roll tarot deck which is my own creation. Then we will move over and choose a card from the animal totem cards, the beast mistress animal oracle cards, which are my, also my own creation, to round out the reading for the month. If you're watching these readings to learn how to read tarot, I recommend my book Tarot in the Modern World. It's very inexpensive and easy to understand. Uh, you can find all that by looking in the eye in the sky, as well as my adult coloring books, which are therapeutic and art therapy. They're relaxing. And all, all the things that I have for sale and all the readings I do are to help with your spiritual growth and your empowerment because that's your ultimate goal. When we're, while we're doing the reading, take time to look at each card. I will hold them up and you can freeze frame the deck. Look at the letters. Look at the shapes. See if anything stands out to you. This is how it can become a more personal reading to you as you trust your intuition and allow these cards to speak to you, as I know they do. They're still speaking to me. <laughs> um, if you don't get your personal message from this one, please be sure to check out your rising sign and your moon sign. Now before we pick, start the reading, I want everybody to pick a color. Once you have your color in mind, we're going to move on to the reading. Thank you in advance for your continued support, and on to the readings. Hello Sagittarius's. Thanks for joining me for the June 2016 readings. Let's get right into it. Ooh, look at that. That was a nice one. Well, something's coming up here for you. Well, you know what's coming up? Let me get these cards out. I'm going to tell you in a minute. Spend a half a minute just talking about a little astrology for you guys. It's got kind of a rare occurrence, and it's happening in your sign. Uh, we're going to have another full moon in Sag. We had a full moon in Sag in May, and then we're going to have another full moon in Sag in June. That doesn't happen very often at all. Um, so, you know, that 29 Sag, that's a critical degree. That's a karmic degree. And it's funny, you know, in this reading, the very center card, which often is the center of the what we're going to talk about, the focal point, is the judgment card. Judgment card is exactly that. It is the, um, the critical degree. You've paid your karmic debts. You're free to move on. Uh, let's, this, is a, this is a great reading for you. Um, like, wow. Um, the first card out was the world. The world is probably the best card in the deck. Definitely one of the top few here. I would say the sun, the world, and maybe the empress are like the best cards in the deck. Wheel of Fortune is also up there. But the world is right up there. The world is having everything you want, and then some. Oh, by the way, on your color, if you pick the color, see where it falls in these cards, and maybe pay a little extra attention to that particular message, that word of that card, okay? The world. Surpassing everything you ever dreamed of, you know, beyond your wildest dreams. That's the world. I mean, it, it really is that great. Um, and then you have the devil, and you have the six of rods, which is a great card, too of victory and triumph, you know, being chosen, being picked, um, succeeding. It's a success card. You know, this is six of, but it, to me I thought it said six feet. So maybe there's something about someone who's six feet tall, or even that, for some reason I might want to say, like, um, in a pool, how they have it marked, you know, four feet, six feet, you know, along how deep the water is. Six feet, that just, that's a mess, maybe a message for somebody. The only holdup in this entire spread here is the devil. The devil is the card of bondage. So if you're feeling like you're in bondage, if you're feeling... It's false bondage, too. It's false imprisonment. That's what the devil card is. It's not believing you can soar or you can do whatever it is that you're trying to do. You know, um... So, um, it's like you're holding, your biggest obstacle is yourself. That's what it means, just in a nutshell. That's really what it means. Um, holding yourself back. Because next to the world, you don't want to be, like, the, the devil's almost like, you know, this is reminding me of, the, the fireball here is reminding me of, a, it's a ball and chain. There are balls and chains on here. But, like, why would you be carrying around this ball and chain when you're about to take flight? and soar through. In some decks, the world card is called the universe, and because that's how big it really is. It's just expansion beyond belief, more than you ever dreamed of. So don't, don't, why do you want to 
hold on with these weights, you know. Don't weigh yourself down here. Um, allow yourself to soar. You're the only thing holding you back. Judgment is a card of you have paid your dues. You've paid your dues, you've gone through your lessons, and now you deserve to have freedom. You've arrived. These are major arcana cards, too. You have one, two, three, four major arcana cards. So um, that means higher forces are at work here. Um, you've paid your dues. You're, you've, it's like a graduation. I know a lot of people actually are graduating in June. And maybe that's it. But it's more, it's, it's bigger than that. It's on, a, it's on a soul level. You've graduated to the next level. You've, you've come through the fire and come out on the other side. Uh, reborn. It's like a rebirth card, too, to some extent. You know, Four of Rods is here, so some of you probably are going to move. Four of Rods is either you're moving, um, or there's changes in your home environment. It's always a good card, too. It always usually means that there's some love thing going on, like maybe you're going to live together, you know, move in together, live together. Maybe you're going to... Um, if you're not living together, if you are already married or living with somebody, then it means that you're going to be um, real happy in your home. Uh, there's going to be changes in your home that are going to make you real happy. Um, it could be roommates, but more often it's it's more family and loved ones that this talks about that you're living with. In some cases it could be a new office environment too, but not usually. Usually it's more home and family. The Two of Rods is here, too, and that says a partnership, a partnership that's going to be successful, a path opening up that you can see your future. He holds the world in his hand, too, and you've got the world here, too. So this is a new, it's, it's, it's a newer endeavor with the Two of Rods, it, it is a two. We're not all the way, you know, tens are the most. Two are lower cards, so it's something that we're just starting on. We're just embarking on it now. We're just starting on this path. Um... But it says it's going to be a huge success, especially when it's looking at these two cards. It's like, this is the direction you're heading in. This is where you're, you're going to get to, and it's great. I always want to look at that angel on this card. What does that horn point at? It's pointing, it's pointing down at the uh, King of Pentacles. Now, if you've never seen my uh, readings before, these people cards can be male, female, whoever. I'll say he because it's the king and he's like a he, but really it could be either or. Um... Excuse me, I just want to make a quick note over here for later. I, I think of things while it's going on in the reading, and then I forget about them later, so I just want to make myself a little note. Um, this is somebody, this is a major soulmate connection here. When these two cards show up together, I mean, maybe it's not a lover, but it could be. It could be either. It could be a lover, or it could be, it's just somebody who's going to change your life. Let's just put it that way. They're going to change your life. Maybe it's business. A lot of times the King of Pentacles is business related. You know, he, he's a financier, like I said, tycoon. He's the money man, you know, those kind of things. But um, he, if you're single, this could be somebody that you would be involved with. The fact that he's showing us King of Pentacles, if this is a romantic connection, this could be that um, maybe you meet them through work or through your career somehow. Um, secondly, maybe they are very successful. You know, maybe they're they're a very successful person, and you're but you're involved with them uh, in a different way, you know, romantically. Uh, the high priestess is showing right next to the king of pentacles. That's a great card too. That's trusting your intuition. So trust your intuition on this. If you got a feeling about somebody, then you know go for that. Trust that feeling. This can also mean that maybe you dreamt about them, like you may have dreamt about this person before you meet them, or, or there, there could be something, um, you know, that just seems familiar, and you're not really sure what it is, because if you want to believe, know the truth, when this card shows up, you may have known them in a past life, probably have, you know, um, but again, when this card shows up, it's no accident that you're meeting this person, this is a planned thing, okay, this is a planned on a soul level, but through the high priestess, you have an intuitive inkling of it, you have a vibe or a feeling or a remembrance or familiarity. There's something there that draws you or pulls you to this person. And it, it, it can be romantic, but again, it does not have to be. Um, another thing about the king, whether male or female, this is somebody who knows what they're do doing. They're not a novice. They know what they're doing. 
Um, if it is a romantic thing, that then they're definitely wanting to be a, in a serious relationship. They're not into playing head games or ch silly childish behaviors. You know, they know they want to. You know, they're they're sincere. They have a sincerity and a truth about them and a sim a simpleness. They're not uh, real complex. They're just a good good people, just plain out good people, and there's nothing wrong with that. Page of Cups is here too. Again, I rarely make the cups, uh, the pages, people. They're usually the messengers, right? Um, the, and all because all the young dudes carry the news. The Page of Cups is a spirit messenger. He's a spirit child. And when these two show up together, this is some major psychic, intuitive stuff going on for you guys. And we got the angels here, you know. So there's some big things here going on. And it also, you notice how it all surrounds this King of Pentacles? I mean, come on. And it could be a queen if you're attracted to women, if this is a romantic thing. If you're, if you're not, if you're already in a relationship and that doesn't apply, well, you could check your rising your moon. But also, it could be um, just somebody really cool that you just get along with. You, it, you can have connections with people that aren't necessarily sexual or romantic. You can have very strong connections with work partners. There's all sorts of ways, you know, that the, the connections can. That don't have to lead to... Um, sexual thing. You know, one of the things though, when I saw this devil too, that can mean that somebody, this could be somebody who was, like maybe when you first met them, they were in a relationship, they were in bondage, this could be in bondage to another relationship. So they may have been married or in a relationship, but now they're not. That's another interpretation of that. But this is all about this spirit psychic stuff here. So I feel like you guys just have this great vibe, like you finish each other's sentences. Um, sometimes the Page of Cups can and often does mean a, an unborn child or a child who is in the spirit realm. So either unborn or, um, you know, not born yet, you know, still in the spirit realm. Or it can be passed on, but... Not not very often it doesn't really mean that. It can also be mes messages from spirit, you know, like uh, creative messages come through the Page of Cups for sure. So this there's this spirit guide or this energy that's trying to communicate with you, and the High Priestess is all about listening to it, all about listening to your dreams, all about trusting those intuitive hunches, all about going with your feelings. You know, this person may not be all that into that stuff, you know, because sometimes these earth people are pretty practical. They're not often, uh, they might think it's kind of woo-woo. So you don't have to go out and say all this stuff, but um, just know that it's it's there and it's true. And believe it, trust it within yourself. Trust the information that you're getting. Ask for a dream. I mean, if you ask for a dream, lots of times they'll come. Those dreams will come. Or, you know, like that old expression, let me sleep on it. You know, because you know, then you sleep on it and you have a new perspective. You can uh, get answers that way for yourself. Okay, what is going on for Sag? What's going to be that animal totem? Goldfish. Okay, goldfish. Luck, serenity, prosperity, wealth, fluid imagination, losing track of time, celestial connections, altered states, Omens of auspicious developments. Well, that's what I was talking about, omens. Omens is on this card. It's one of the words that I use on this card, omens. Um, so that's what I'm talking about, you know. Like, if you get this feeling, you get this vibe, kind of go for it. Because this guy is, this guy or girl is going to be really lucky for you. And I do feel they're prosperous. It says prosperity and wealth and everything on there, you know. They are prosperous. Um... This person could really ground you, too, no matter what sign they are. Let's put it that way. Like, I feel like um, they could really give you a solid foundation and really ground you uh, for whatever, however they're involved in your life. But this is a big turning point for you guys. With the world and judgment here, this is a big, some kind of big thing. And, and I think that this moon at 29, because 29, 29 Sagittarius it is, not only is that close to the galactic center, which the galactic center, I feel, is like a portal to receive um, energy and knowledge through. But 29 is sometimes can be looked at as last chance, okay? Or the very end, like, okay, we've graduated, we've gone from zero all the way through 29, and now we've graduated. 
and we're, we're ready to move up to the next level. You know, or if maybe you've always dated people who were, you know, it's like the separate the boys from the men, you know. Maybe you like to date guys if you're a girl or if, if you're interested in dating men. Maybe you uh, used to date guys who were, you know, superficial and, you know, just a good time Charlie like they used to say. <laughs> what is these words? <laughs> I got some old people spirit guys, I think. Uh, good time Charlie. Yeah. He's a good time Charlie. <laughs> But, you know, now you're ready for to go into maybe a more mature relationship. Or maybe you've, you know, in, been involved or worked with people, collaborated with people who were just kind of, you know, silly and superficial and not really serious about getting something together here. And th th now you're going to be in a, a, a relationship or a partnership or whatever, somebody who's pretty serious about we're, we're going to do something here. Whether we're going to build a business, whether we're going to build a relationship, a marriage, a home, you know. And it's for real. It's for real now. This was playing. This was just playing at it. And this is the real deal now, okay? Okay, Saggies. Hey, I'm going to be opening up uh, the readings here real soon. And it looks like it'll have to be like two weeks on and two weeks off. I know that's not all that convenient. You can check up here in the eye in the sky for information on that and everything. This reading is really deep. It's not superficial at all. It's not predictive. It's a deep psychic reading that I use your chart to really tune into your soul's mission and everything. Um, it's I don't look at every single thing, but I look at like where you're going, why you're here. It's not for everybody, but it's a deep reading. If you want to take it to the next level, you may be interested in looking into that. If it's not available, it'll be coming up again in two weeks. Because what happens is I get too overwhelmed, and I don't want to make you wait for months to get the reading. So I open up, I do them, and then when I start falling way behind, I just want, I shut it down. Because that just helps me, too. I don't like to get... I get too stressed out about having people waiting, too. I get... I got to do the readings. I got to do, you know... So it's better this way. It's about two weeks on, two weeks off, something like that. Then you won't have to wait as long, either. I should have it to you in a few days. That's always the best way. I don't want to keep you waiting. Thank you for everything you guys do to help me support the channel by buying my wares, the deck, and the other tools that I have, and the books and everything, the mandalas, uh, and donating. That really helps to keep all these videos free and doing them all the time. Remember you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a great month of June, and I'll talk to you soon.